Hey, what's up family, friends, and newbies to the channel? And if you are new, please consider subscribing to All Things Tommy Bikes TV, where you will get news, store walkthroughs, vlogging, day in the life, camping, gardening, homesteading, you name it. That's why it's called All Things Tommy Bikes TV. So welcome in. Please hit that like button as you enter. Um, I don't know. I, I see when I do store walkthroughs, some people in the comments be like, how much is the orange juice over there? Next time, could you scan over to the orange juice and see how much it is? So I'm thinking that a lot of people are experiencing this where the cost of orange juice has gone up. But why has the cost of orange juice gone up so much to the point where I have not bought orange juice in months? And I love my dose of vitamin C and not having to like take a vitamin C capsule or whatever. So I now, if I do buy orange juice, it'll probably come from Sam's Club because I can get two for what the regular stores are charging for one. So um, let's get into what exactly is causing the prices to go up when it comes to orange juice. Now we know the price of food is going up in a lot of areas. I see that the ground beef has gone back up even higher than it was before they lowered it. Okay. Originally it was $18 or $19 for a 10 pound, you know, tubing of meat. Now it is costing $30 four dollars the highest it had gone up was 32 dollars and i just looked yesterday and it is 34 dollars that is unbelievable that they feel like we can feed our families with this and i know everybody has a cost because everybody has to make money but when is enough enough so let's get into what's causing the orange juice to go up It says, why orange juice is so expensive? A large part of the problem is due to citrus greening disease. Never heard of it. Let me know if you have. One of the most serious plant diseases in the world that is currently incurable. Look at this. That's a bad crop. And farmers are, are really biting the end of it right there with all the money that they put into growing. If you've ever grown on a small scale, imagine how much money you spend there. And then imagine how much these farmers are having to spend. And then to see that the citrus is looking and other crops are looking like this is unbelievable. So U.S. orange production has plummeted and the industry faces volatile threats from extreme weather events and incurable disease and economic pressures as if that's not enough. Citrus growers are losing millions of dollars every year, according to the United States Department of Agriculture. At the same time, orange juice futures have hit record high. Citrus production in the United States is pretty dire situation right now, y'all. Um, an economist at the American Farm Bureau Federation told CNBC, when you have a lack of supply that's unable to meet demand, prices for consumers shoot up. And I think we've all figured that out now, especially since 2020. I think we've figured that out. Florida has seen a dramatic orange production decline in recent years. According to the USDA, there were over 658,000 orange acres in Florida in 1998. As of 2023, that number has decreased over half. There were just over 300. 3,000 acres of oranges planted in Florida, or a total acres drop of more than 50%, like I said, more than half, in just 25 years. A large part of the problem can be traced to the spread of citrus greening disease, which is considered to be the most, one of the most serious plant diseases in the world that is currently incurable. 
When citrus greening starts to enter the grove, it reduces the productivity of those trees, ultimately forcing them into death and then therefore removal from the grove. That's, I didn't even know that this existed, but this is some of the reasoning behind it, you guys. The problems plaguing citrus production are not easily remedied as climate change has made extreme weather more common and scientists have yet to come up with scalable citrus greening treatment. Now, I don't know <clears throat> about a lot of that, but I do know when it comes to this climate, something going on, either somebody playing with it, man, or it's natural. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But that storm we had last night was insane. Some of the key research areas include fruit breeding for citrus greening resistant varieties, antimicrobial treatments, and other pest control solutions like crop covers. Um, Inveo is one of the companies researching the developing treatments for citrus greening. They've developed a very unique precision delivery technology called Tricyce that they're able to insert into the tree and deliver a very reduced amount of antimicrobial. Now, I wonder if they're injecting something into the tree itself, does that change the fruit that is growing? Whatever the fruit is, the orange, the apple, whatever, does that change that? It's so much tampering going on. It makes no sense to me. Uh, when Tricyce is inserted into a tree, the active ingredient goes into its vascular system as opposed to being applied outside of the tree. So they're trying to treat the tree from the inside out, almost like, you know, doctors do with us or or we do whatever we treat treat from the inside out instead of topical things. But I still wonder, does that affect the food? In August of 2023, Tricyce received emergency approval for use from the Florida Department of Agriculture and Community Services. The volatility of these treatments may cut into citrus harvest expectations, which leads experts to believe that higher prices for orange juice are likely to remain. So don't expect for your favorite orange juice and put in the comments, what's your favorite orange juice? And do you like pulp or no pulp? But those prices are going to remain high. And they say at least for the short term, it's going to remain high. So just wanted to bring you some interesting news because I get comments when I do store walkthroughs. You know, what's going on with the orange juice? Why is it, you know, why does it cost so much now? You know, $8 pretty much for a gallon of orange juice. And that is the Walmart brand, okay? So I don't understand it, but there it is right there in black and white. So I hope that this was helpful to those who wanted to know. And if this was news you can use, please hit that like button and share this video out to someone else who might be interested. And if it's not news you can use, please hit that like button and help support this channel regardless. And I thank you for being here again. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And if you are subscribed, go back and make sure you're still subscribed because I just had to resubscribe to several people that I watched. So YouTube's AI is going in and taking people away from content creators. And this is how a lot of us make our money. So y'all, thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Alcohol.